All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how to take your painted or colored paper and um, we're going to do some work on drawing Notre Dame. So down towards the bottom of your page, now you want to make this the full page, so as much as you can without going right to the edge. So you're going to make a nice line across the bottom. There's my bottom, my base. Now, Notre Dame is broken down into sections, which you can kind of see here. I started this one the other day. So um, it's got a rectangle here and a rectangle here. And then it's got two taller rectangles here with a gap in the middle. So we're going to basically draw that shape first. So I'm going to make another line going across. Try to make sure it's straight. Um, do your best to make sure that these lines are straight. And you're going to make a line going across here. And then you're going to connect it on the sides. And then you're going to connect this one. Now, the straighter your lines are, which is why we use a ruler. The straighter your lines are the better um, because architecture is has to be sturdy and it has to be straight to get your to make your building stand up so once i get that first rectangle drawn i'm going to do another one This one I'm going to make a little bit bigger because the center section has that rose window, that circular window. So I want to make it a little bigger so I can make that rose window stand out. And I happen to have colored this blue circle here kind of in the middle, so that's going to work out really nicely. Um, where I put my rose window. Alright. This one off here. Then I'm going to make two more lines going up here and here. And make a line going across, but I'm not going to make it all the way across. Remember the these two squares or rectangles don't touch in the middle, so I'm going to make them go right. Make sure you erase any lines that don't work for you. If they're sticking out over the edge, or if they, when you trace it, if you trace it with a pen or Sharpie, um, make sure you erase those lines. That's just good craftsmanship. Good craftsmanship is super important for an artist. You just want to do your best. All right, so there's my basic building shape. Now, the bottom is sectioned off into three sections. So the middle section is a little bit wider. And the side sections. Now, this is the paint paper that I um, made with marker and water. That's why my paper is a little wrinkly. Um, we're doing a picture of Notre Dame that is where it's lit up at night with all sorts of bright colors. So the colors don't matter as much, but the nice thing about the markers is it's not erasing when I erase my pencil marks. So I'm going to have <clears throat> the doors come up at a point in the middle. And they kind of curve down. Try and find that place in the middle where they connect. And I'll reset that. So then I'm going to come down with a straight line. That's where those peaks meet in the middle. <clears throat> And got the inside. Now, here's where the details come in. 
So as you're starting to draw those basic shapes, so this is the arch for the doorway, and here's the door itself. Okay. So we're going to start adding details. Now I want my rose window to be right in here, so I'm going to add that. Which worked out perfectly with that blue spot. And then over top of the rose window, there's actually like a U, an upside down U shape that comes down. Like this. And then there's two smaller ones on either side. So you're going to have arches like that. And like this. So you'll notice the more details that you add, the more it starts to look like Notre Dame. Now, I'm going to show you one that I did. Um, started yesterday and I just started working on it and adding some colored pencil to this area. Now this paper was the tea and coffee stain paper. So um, I've already gotten quite a bit of the drawing done and now with my colored pencil I'm going to add some details. So there are all sorts of details on this building. There's these like posts that come across that are here so I can kind of color those. Now I don't have to color the whole page because my paint, or in this case my coffee and tea, um, will add a lot of that color for me. So I don't have to do as much with the background. I just want to kind of give it some shadows and some value and add in those amazing details that you see on Notre Dame. So when you're done, your building is going to look something like this. Let's see if you can see it on my iPad. There we go. So this is kind of the image that we're going for. This is the um, picture of Notre Dame that we picked out to work from. So you can see how with all the lights and all the um, colors on there, how beautiful the building is. and um, how many details or how much detail you can add to it. So um, I can't wait to see your work. A um, couple of little things. Make sure you're filling your paper. So you can see I've only got about one finger width down here. Um, same thing on the sides. Now, if we were back in class at school, I would have you guys cut this out and I would probably have you guys paste it on black paper to make it look like that night sky that you saw in that picture. Since we're not at school and we don't have that option, there's a couple of things you can do. You can leave it, you can make it like a landscape behind it, like the city, it's in the middle of Paris, um, Notre Dame is in the middle of Paris, so you can um, look at pictures and see what's around it if you want, or you could color it black. Um, again, if you color it black, just be really careful that you color completely, if you color it with marker especially, um, marker gets... Um, it gets yucky real fast. So just be careful with your markers and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Um, make sure you fill your whole page and make some awesome art.